Lesson nine, reading one. What is the same and different about boiling water and electrolysis? Getting ready. You may already have learned what happens to molecules when you boil water. Now you have investigated what happens during the process of electrolysis of water. Embed a text dependent question. In the following space, list your ideas about how boiling water and electrolysis compare. As you read, you will learn more about similarities and differences between water during boiling and electrolysis. How are boiling and electrolysis of water the same? The experiments of boiling water and electrolysis use the same substance, water. This water was in the liquid state to begin both experiments. Both times energy was added to the water. This, however, is where the similarities end. How are boiling and electrolysis of water different? First, think about when you boil water. Thermal energy is added to the water from a hot plate or from your stove. Look at the pictures. A beaker of water is on a hot plate. Each water molecule, H2O, is represented by three circles. The big dark circles circle represents an oxygen atom and the two little gray circles represent two hydrogen atoms. The beaker of water contains billions of water molecules in the liquid state. In the liquid state, each water molecule is attracted to the neighboring water molecules. When thermal energy is added to water, the water molecules gain energy and move faster and faster until they can overcome the attraction of other molecules and go into the gaseous state. When a water molecule gets enough energy, it can break away from the rest of the molecules. Then it can move from the beaker into the air as a gas molecule. This process is called evaporation. Evaporation is when liquid water molecules gain enough energy to become gas molecules and go into the air. The picture on the right side is a representation of water in the gaseous state or phase. You cannot see molecules moving from liquid water to gaseous water. What you do see are bubbles in the water. If you compare the liquid and the gas molecules, they have the same arrangement of atoms in H2O molecules. This means that the same substance of water is there before and after boiling. The molecules are just farther apart after adding energy. If you remove the thermal energy, the molecules will slow down and condense back into the liquid phase. The properties of the water before boiling and after cooling would still be the same. An equation can represent boiling of water. The following is a word equation for boiling. Embedded text dependent question. Rewrite the equation using the chemical names. Is boiling a chemical reaction? Explain your answer. Now think about electrolysis. Just as with boiling you began with water, H2O, in the liquid state. Just like with boiling, energy was added. This time, however, the energy came from batteries. Instead of the energy going to making the water molecules move faster until some of them were eventually able to evaporate, electrical energy from the batteries was able to split the water molecules apart into oxygen and hydrogen. You could not see molecules splitting apart, but you did see bubbles. This time, the bubbles were a sign of, a new, substance, of new substances. You also saw bubbles during boiling. You also did a flame test to get evidence that oxygen and hydrogen were formed. Oxygen and hydrogen are both gases at room temperature. They are different substances from water. They have different properties from water. If you remove the batteries that provide the energy, the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas will not go back to form water. The following picture illustrates the electrolysis process. Each water molecule, H2O, is represented by three circles. The big dark circle represents an oxygen atom, and the two little gray circles represent two hydrogen atoms. The beaker of water contains billions of water molecules in the liquid state. The electrical energy breaks apart the H2O molecules. The newly formed H2 molecules accumulate in one test tube, and the newly formed O2 molecules accumulate in the other test tube. The electrolysis experiment you did can be described by the following word equation, water, liquid, electrolysis, hydrogen, gas, plus oxygen, gas. 
You created marshmallow models in this process in class. When water has an electric current applied through electrolysis, it breaks down to form hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. The following equation of electrolysis is written using the chemical formulas. Embedded text dependent question. Were new substances created from old substances during electrolysis? Explain. In order to make new substances, do you always have to start with two or more reactants? Embedded text dependent question. Right now, your definition of a chemical reaction is, think back to boiling water. Is this a chemical reaction? When water boils, atoms do not rearrange and no new substances are formed. You begin with water and end with water. It is just that water is in either the liquid phase or the gaseous phase. There's only one substance. Boiling is not a chemical reaction. Now think back to electrolysis. Is this a chemical reaction? When water undergoes electrolysis, the water molecules split apart, so the atom, atoms no longer have the arrangement of H2O. They are new arrangements. They are now O2 and H2 gas molecules. New substances are formed from the old substances, water. The new substances have different properties from the water. Electrolysis is a chemical reaction. It only has one reactant, water. Based on this new understanding that a chemical reaction can involve one, two, or more substances, you need to revise your old definition of a chemical reaction. Write your new definition of a chemical reaction. An everyday example of a chemical reaction with only one reactant. What do you think happens to grass that has been cut and left on the lawn? What happens to dead leaves? What about dead animals, trees, or plants in a forest or park? Dead matter decomposes. When matter decomposes, it breaks down to form a complex form of a simpler form. This occurs with the help of bacteria and fungi. The old substance, dead grass, a dead animal, or a dead plant has complex molecules. Through decomposition, these complex molecules split apart and the atoms combine in new ways to form new substances that have more simple molecules or substances with only one type of atom. When plants break down, they form mainly carbon dioxide and water. These simpler substances become basic ingredients for healthy soil. It is a good thing that decomposition occurs. Otherwise, there would be dead plants and animals piled everywhere. Electrolysis is an, is an example of a decomposition process. The more complex molecules of water are broken down into more simple molecules of oxygen and hydrogen gas.